Dim Expert Tutorials. Apply dimensions and drawings to fully defined manufacturing features such as patterns, slots, or pockets. With the Dim Expert, we can insert dimensions and tolerances automatically or manually. Using the Dim Expert, we're going to prepare a part model to be put on a manufacturing drawing. Also, the Dim Expert can be used to prepare a model for the Tall Analyst, which we'll cover in a later tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to use the automatic and manual dimensioning tools of the Dim Expert. We'll start with this prismatic part, which we'll auto dimension using plus minus dimensions. Click here to open the part. To begin, we'll select the Auto Dimension Scheme button. You can find this on the Dim Expert Manager tab. Under the settings, make sure the part type is set to prismatic and the tolerance type is set to plus and minus. To see the difference between prismatic and turned, select here. Or between plus and minus and geometric, select here. Next, we'll select three datums to define the origins for the dimensions. This will be our primary datum. Notice the cursor changes. This indicates if I right click, it will move me automatically down to the next box. Now I'll select my secondary datum, and then right click, and now my tertiary datum. In the Property Manager, under Scope, make sure All Features is selected. Also, under the Feature Filters, make sure all checkboxes are turned on. Click OK. Next, we'll take a look at the dimensions we've created. Let's look at a front view. You can drag the dimensions to reposition them. Notice the instance count of three times in front of the radius to fill it. Next we'll look at a right view. Similarly here, there is an instance count in front of the counterbore hole feature, indicating there's three of those. Finally, let's look at a top view. And here we see two counterbore holes. Next, we can quickly generate a drawing of our dimension part. Select the file pull down and select Make Drawing from Part. Click on your drawing template and click OK. We'll set a few sheet properties on our drawing. Right click on the drawing sheet and select Properties. You may need to click on the double down arrow. Set the scale to 2 to 1. Make sure it's third angle projection. And also, we want to make this a C size sheet. So turn off the checkbox, only show standard formats, and select the C size sheet format. Then click Apply Changes. Next, on the task pane, select the View Palette, turn on Import Annotations, and turn on Dim Expert Annotations. Also, make sure Auto Start Projected View is enabled. Drag the front view into the drawing sheet, somewhere right about here. Move your cursor up and click, to the right and click, and up and to the right and click. Click OK, and that completes the first part of this tutorial. In the next part of this tutorial, we're going to auto dimension a turned part. Click here to open this part. Just like before, we're going to click on the Auto Dimensioning Scheme button. This time, we'll select Turned under the Part Type. And also, we'll select Geometric. When auto dimensioning a simple turned part, we may only need two datums, a planar face for a primary, and a cylindrical face for a secondary. Just like before, verify that All Features is selected under Scope and all checkboxes are turned on under Feature Filters. 
click OK, and you can compare your part to the one shown in the graphic on the right. That completes the turned part auto dimension. Next we'll move on to our third example. Here we'll use both manual and automatic dimensioning schemes to dimension this bracket. Click here to open the bracket. Just as before, we'll start off with the automatic dimensioning scheme button. This time we'll select prismatic and geometric. We'll select three planar datums here, here, and this side face. Just as before, we'll make sure all features is selected under scope. However, under feature filters, select the uncheck all filters button and select counter bore. Click OK to see the result. This time we'll add dimensions by selecting particular features. Begin again with the auto dimensioning tool. In the property manager, prismatic and geometric are selected. Select the same three planar datums. This time, under scope, click on selected features and select the face of the slot. Click OK. And now the slot is green, showing that it is fully tolerance. If we take a moment to reposition our tolerances, they might look like this. You see the primary, secondary, and tertiary as the ABC datum, and you also have a tolerance on the eight holes and the slot. Next, we're going to add dimensions manually. First, let's reorient to a back view. Next, we want to activate the Location Dimension tool on the Dim Expert toolbar. This toolbar may be turned off for you. Right click on any one of the Command Manager tabs and select Dim Expert. Underneath this tab, you'll find the Location Dimension tool. Hover over the upper edge of the bracket and select it. Then move your cursor up a little bit and click to place this dimension. Next, we'll dimension the width of the rib. Click on the Size Dimension tool. Rotate so you can see the rib. Select the triangular side of the rib. Select the Create Width feature. Select the other side of the rib. And click OK to the Feature Selector. Move your cursor above the rib and a dimension follows. Click to place the dimension somewhere up here. We'll take care of the rest of the dimensions automatically. Go back to the Dim Expert tab and select the Automatic Dimension Scheme tool once again. As before, select the same three datums, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Select all features and turn on all checkboxes and click OK. Optionally, you can drag these dimensions around and make it look a lot cleaner. That completes this tutorial. Thank you.